Hello beautiful people for YouTube. My name is Lee, and today I'm talking about the Pretty Share Grey by E.R. James. Now I just finished it right now, so I just need to give you, well, mostly everybody should know what it's about. So it, I only didn't give you a little bit of detail because. I want everybody seen or read the book or seen the movie. And um, <clears throat> they air about Christian Grey and Anna Sayo um, Trio. And <sighs> this is my first, when I was reading the book. The Fifty Shades of Grey series, and um, they were very new to me. And uh, let me tell you what I thought about it then, and then I didn't tell you what about it now. So, in two thousand fifteen, in the radio everywhere was talking about this book. And I really they were talking about it because there was already a movie getting made and it wouldn't get released um the beginning of twenty fifteen. So, um I pick it up right away and I read it and it was my first adult read because my first read was Twilight. And then it was the Evermoon series, and then it was um, Halo, and then it went to Pretty Shade of Grey. And then from Pretty Shade of Grey, it went to Pretty for Bastard and all the other series. <laughs> so, do I like it now? In the beginning, no. No, I didn't lie. The first chunk of the book, I was getting so bored of it. I think it was all the way to chapter 10, I believe. And yeah, chapter 10. From chapter 1, from chapter 1 and 10, it was boring so boring and I just wanted to not read it but I wanted to read it and read you know think about the book over where it been 2015 from 2021 you know it's been a while since I read it and um do I like it? Do I want to reread it? In a way, no. And in a way, yes. So it's like 50 50. Because, like I said, I did enjoy the book. But the big boring part is right here. It ain't practically um, half of the book. Right there, you know that was like the bowling ball. The the one that I really really got into the most is when they were talking about the contract during the office. That was interesting, and then from there on, so that bit of chant was booming. In the part when she graduated, I like I don't care, like. In, when I first came with it, it was awesome. I gave it five stars because it was my first time reading something like this. Now I read so many different but have, you know, stuff like this. I read the, I am reading the Beautiful Bastard series one by one. I read the Thoughtless series. And I read so many books that you don't know about it yet, but I am going to do 
a wheelbarrow and built to you by zero day I read book one and book two be because built to you a kind of like fifty shade of gray and what I remember it built to you was a whole lot better than fifty shade of gray. I am going to reread Bell to you to see what it better from that one and fifty shade of gray, but I'm pretty sure that I remember correctly it was built to you and you know she didn't sign the contract so basically they're doing whatever they want to do and she never really signed anything the contract is so messed up and you know at the time it was like something different I do have all three books from Christian point of view. I have Gray, Darker, and Free. I am going to read all six books to really put the series together. What do I like better? The Anna point of view or the Christian point of view? I don't know, but so far the Anna point of view, I don't like it. Like, it didn't give me a bit of a headache throughout the whole book. Well, not throughout the whole book. The part that I told you that I did not like, it was giving me a headache. And my inner goddess. Oh my god! The reason why, and it was perfect timing when I picked the book up, I was watching the movie Book Club. I don't know if you ever seen it. Well, that book, that movie, they read all three books, and I was like, you know what? I picked it book up for, for my net read, and it was perfect timing, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Like, so to me, like, a Christian great point of view is it better than Anna's but at the time when I first time read it I gave it five stars now I want to give it like a two maybe a two and a half because some part was interesting some part was kind of boring and so I haven't read it for many years and I rather read Bell to You than read the one right here. And Bell to You is kind of what I remember about Bell to You is Christian Gray and the guy from that book. I don't remember that name. They kind of alike. So Christian Gray have a really, really dark past when you were very young. And on this book, on this book, we did hear a little bit about his past. But the, the, yeah, again, there is Anna point of view. When you read Gray, you really get into his past and what happened. And Christian Gray have nightmares. Now, when Anna and, and Christian sleep on the same bed, he don't have any nightmares. And when they're not there, I mean, if you read Christian point of view of old Gray, he knows that, that he get nightmares when he not with her. But um, he had a really dark past, and he mom killed herself. Well, that probably on great. But like, when Anna is she dumb? I like she. She a virgin, and Christian Gray is crazy, and. 
she is falling in love with Christian and that her first relationship ever. She never really dated anybody. And her mom said it. She went to go visit her mom and she said that that she is so happy that she finally met somebody and made her happy and made sure that you two really love each other and all that. But the mom point of view, the mom side what she said to Anna is meant that she, you know, a loving mom would say. And with her, with Anna head, it was like, why are they, you don't know how crazy it is. And he don't really love me. That when she said, I know mine. And by right the end of almost maybe the third four pages, the end of the book, um, Anna finally told Christian how she feels about him she love him and she wants to be with him as a couple and she want to to touch him but the christian gray do not like to be touched on your body on your back anywhere because he had um bone mounts sitting with bone mounts all uh, over on your chest and when you were a kid they were like most cigarettes and burn them all over his chest so he he don't want people touching him on that area so but we find out that that woman named Mrs. Robinson who showed him how to be a dumb basically a dominant and you know she is trying to get more and more information from him because she's never had a relationship with anybody they is the only relationship that she knows and for on her, on her head she thinks that it helps me to have that type of relationship i mean I'm pretty sure people do this in real life, but when you never had a relationship with anybody, you know, <laughs> you know, it's, I like, wow. So, like I said, in the end, she told him how she feels and he didn't like it. He said, you can't love me. I broke in and, you know, they couldn't do it. So right now, I didn't give it a two. On my good weeds, it five stars. So I didn't need to do it like that because of how I felt when I heard, when I read the book for the first time. I gave it a five star because to me, it was a good book. It was something different for me, so that right. But now, reading it again, and then like I said, I already read stuff like this before. It, it was dragging. So to me, I gave it maybe a two and a half or three. Two and a half of three stars, and it is it's not that good, not that good. But I will read the whole series because I have all six books. I have the Anna and I have Christian Grey point of view. So I didn't want to see what is better, Christian Grey or Anna. So. Right now, it's yeah, two or three star read for me. Now, for my next read, I need it in my lap book of the month. Yes, my lap book of the month is Dirty Writing Thing by Christian Lauren. This is the second book from the Wire series. 
the purple card um she pretty boy yes that i remember so there is the second part second book so i read that next and that is the last book of the month so i have about two weeks to finish that book so but i do want to get that done next week so i can post it on friday or, or something yeah so i will put the picture right here on my next week i do have that one on my kindle i don't have it on my physical so if you have read the book what you thought about it and if that what you thought read will fit like me if that what you thought we reading something like this go back and read it and tell me how you feel about it now now if, if you know if you read but like this and that was you know are you read it now i know what people were talking about but yeah so i gave it a three so three or two and a half so um yeah so my net weird my net weird dirty white thing i have my good weeds instagram link down below thank you for watching bye